Hey crafters, today I'm going to be showing you how I made this toddler bed. This is one of my favorite projects so far, so I hope you enjoy. Start out by using a few square wooden dowels, and this is what they are going to be used as. Here I'm showing you the basic structure of the bottom, so the long pieces, the short pieces, and then the posts. Make sure to glue everything to the posts so that the posts go on the outside, and that is how it's going to have that seamless look in the end. When you're gluing this together, make sure to leave enough time for the glue to dry in between because if you don't, it's going to start to try to fall apart on you and it will be way more difficult than it has to be. So go slow and leave some drying time. Once the bottom is secure you can start adding the top beams and this will give it some stability. You want to make the bottom as one piece and the roof as another because that's going to be the easiest way to put this together. So once this is done, just set it to the side and start with the roof. Now take the roof beam and glue the sides to it. Make sure to have the angled sides the right way out because if you accidentally glue one the wrong way, it's gonna it's not gonna fit on top of the structure. So be careful to have the flat ends lay the correct way and that's how you're gonna get this to be way more easy for you. Leave that to dry and once it's dry you can glue it on top of the rest of the structure and this is what it's gonna look like in the end. Now it's time to make the railings, so the way you want to do that is cut two pieces for the sides and one for the back, and those are going to be the top rails. And then I cut a few balusters, I used about 23 for mine. Now when you're making the front, you want to leave an opening, and that's where you would climb into the bed. So you just decide how big you want that opening to be, and this is how I made mine. The easiest way to put this together would be to glue everything to the top rail and then glue the entire piece onto the bed. That way you can make sure that you have an even spacing between the balusters. Then just put it together and glue it in place. Here is what it looks like when everything is glued in place. After this, I made a very thin piece of wood for the bottom so that the mattress would not fall through. I made sure to make this small enough to go on the inside and not to put the entire structure on top of it. Because if you put it on top, it's going to leave a seam at the bottom and I did not want that so I made mine snug on the inside of the structure and then glue that in place. Once everything is glued and dried, just start painting. I decided to go with a light gray paint because I wanted a very neutral color. Something else you could have done if you wanted a neutral color was go with white, for example. Or if you're doing a color theme in the room, you could paint it pink or whatever the theme is. 
I decided to put pink accents on mine, so I did not want mine to be pink because there is such a thing as too much. <laughs> um, but if you wanted this to look more of a statement piece, you could always paint it black and that would really stand out. The painting process takes a while because you need to go on every side of every baluster and it takes some time. If you want to skip this process altogether, you can just leave it plain wood color and that would be fine too, but I decided to commit to this, so here I am committing to every single piece. Now this is what it looks like when it's all painted and done. If you wanted to you could stop here and just use it as a playpen, but since we're making a bed we're going to continue on. So for the mattress I took two very dense sponges and I cut a sliver off of one of them because one sponge was too small for the entire bed frame. I just glued that piece onto the larger piece and that way it all sticks together as one. Uh, place that on top of some fabric. I decided to go with white fabric. This is a no sew tutorial So just make sure that the edges are very nice and crisp and then just take a glue stick and you can glue that in place Now cut the excess off of the ends And as you can see here, I made an indent towards the bottom of the bed. And this will make it much easier to get the crisp line. So you want to pinch in the small part, fold over the middle, and then fold the large piece over that. I know it sounds like a very <laughs> complicated thing, but as you can tell in the video, it's not very hard. Um, once that's glued in place, just cut off the ex excess and then fold over the last piece onto the bottom. So th just glue that in place and you might need to tuck in the edges on this so they don't stick out. When you do that, you might want to add some extra glue so it stays flat. And once you're done with that, do it to both sides and you are done. Here I'm just placing it in the bed and I wanted a snug fit so that's what I did. It looks like I'm having difficulty putting it in there, but I don't know why, because it wasn't very difficult. And now the bed is done. Either you can be done now, or you can do what I did and add a flag banner. So the easiest way to put this together is to take the paper that you want to use and fold that in half and then cut a triangle on that fold. That way both sides will be equally big and then just glue it onto some sewing thread. I decided to go with just plain white and pink flags and make it very minimal. So when you're making this, try to not twist the thread as you're going. I accidentally did that and some of my flags are sticking out very weirdly, so try not to make my mistake, but this is just for this project, so I don't really mind it, it's fine, it's just make sure not to mess up on your own. So once you're done with that, just tie it to the top of the bedposts and 
that will be the easiest way to attach it to the bed so you don't have to make permanent attachment. And here, as you can see in the middle, my flags are sticking out in weird angles, but I don't mind. I just crocheted a blanket on top of my bed and added a pillow, and that is how I styled it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't checked out my other bed tutorial with the headboard, I will make sure to link that for you. But please let me know what you thought of this in the comments, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye!